to see you happy and living where you want to be in New York City. There's only one person that doesn't, and I that's know. the banker. I know. He wants you out of here. He doesn't I care know. where you go for as little as possible. He's looking at the odds, he's looking at you, and he's figuring, how little can I offer her to buy that case and send her home? Bring it okay, on. Okay, call me, banker. Come on. Hello. Who is this? Who is this? This is not the banker. This is... Who is it? What are you saying? The banker couldn't make it back in time for the premiere? What? This is crazy. But you know what? You can't do the I... show without the banker. No, you can't. That's crazy. I want to see. You know what? What? I don't know what the... what's going on here. I want to reveal yeah, well, the well, banker. Well, Who is sitting in for the banker? I love your accent. You like my accent? I feel it home. Makes you feel at home. Listen, you have no idea how much I miss home, okay? Yep. I really do. You have no idea. Can I say something yeah. to you? As much as you love him, right. he is an amazing businessman, and that's the reason that the banker had him replace him tonight. I am the chosen one. It's about making deals, and it's about the money. So tonight, Mr. Trump is really your enemy. Bankers are not nice people. They I are. do not want you to do well. I'm only kidding. $45,000. Take it. If you say deal, I'll ask you the question, and you hit this button, you are guaranteed $45,000. If you say no deal and close the box, you must open up five more cases before the next offer. If you keep the top amounts in play, I'm sure, Mr. Trump, the next offer will go up. Well, I think that's true. Okay, but if she knocks them out... Not good. Not good. Even if I had a piece of lint off his, like, suit, maybe that would just bring me, like, luck. Money. Something. It's Donald right now, Trump! Yeah. Oh, my God! It's Donald Trump! It's Donald right now, Trump! Yeah. a question and we'll see about the lint. Okay. Okay? No. Donna DiBiase, deal or no deal? No deal! We'll find out. With Mr. Donna and we have a special, a special guest with us tonight sitting in for the banker, Donald Trump. Donald! <laughs> My son, since he's three and a half years old, four years old, you know what I told him? All about you, Mr. Trump. All about you and how successful you are. And I am like, I am so honored to be with New York. And, and for those of you just joining us, the whole dream tonight is to get back home to New York, right? That's what you want the money for. That's what I want the money for. Well, you just turned down $45,000. That could have got you home. I know. But you have a good shot because I the do. top four amounts are still left in play. They are. Okay. Keep those on the board, and Mr. Trump will do you well. You knocked him off. He's a businessman. Right. And tonight he is the banker first, and the offers will go down. Great round. Well, I'm going to give Mr. Trump some time to come up with an offer, and we'll be back. We'll find out what it is after this. We had a great round. You know, we are about to have our special guest banker give you an offer. Mr. Trump, welcome to L.A. Thanks for being part of this. Such an honor. Your whole thrust is to get back to New York. Well, he's got to take it easy on you. That was a good round. A million dollars still in play. She's making a great comeback. Great comeback. Sir, sure. you looked at the board. You watched how she played. You know she has three cases to open. Three cases. I think you should take 
$86,000. That's what I think. And go home. $86,000. Go home. $86,000. Take it, Donna. $86,000. Guaranteed. Yes, please do. This man up there, one of the smartest men in the world, $86,000. He wants to get you out for a low number. This is how he negotiates Donna. every one of his billion dollar deals. You have a million, you got a half a million, you got 400,000. Don't take the money. What would $86,000 mean to you in your life? I want money for my son, for his education. He's so intelligent and so, so 86, it would mean something, yes. It'd mean a lot. $86,000 is a guarantee if you say deal and hit this button, but you sell the chance at $1 million. So I ask you, Donna, DiBiase, deal or no deal? Dominic, take your mother, go home. <laughs> well, Donald, if you want her to go home, you're gonna have to make it worth her while. If she misses the million dollars, if that gets chosen, you're gonna be a very, very unhappy lady. $96,000, go home. $96,000. Go home, Donna. $96,000 is a lot of money. It could help you out. It's not going to get you back to New York. I know. Okay? But look what you got, honey. You got a million dollars. You got $400,000 there. So take the shot. Come on, Donna. Shot. Come on, Donna. The sun's no deal. The sun's saying no deal. Donna, let me tell you something. And you have the chance of a lifetime at $1 million. Do you take the guarantee of $96,000 or do you go for the million? I'm gonna need your decision. You have made a tragic mistake, in my opinion. No mistake. Let's prove them wrong. Let's prove them wrong. Let's prove them wrong. Hey, Howie. Yes. You know why this is not a mistake for my sister? Why? Because if she leaves here with nothing, right? She's got me. I'll make sure that she <laughs> never sinks. This is her shot. Okay. That's the ultimate safety net. Oh, it's blood. It's blood. Yeah, that's blood. <laughs> Independent person. I really don't ask that. I don't ask nobody. She never asks anything from nobody. No. That's the thing. She never. Okay. Well, she may Listen. never need to. Okay. That's she right. could That's walk right. out of Go here with it. one million dollars. Let me just tell you something. Just, can I say something to you? Wait. Let me say something okay. to you. Okay. Uh, when he says that, when he says you made a mistake, I want you to take it personally. He's just talking numbers, dollars, and business and deals. All right. Let me tell you so. something. If this was the average day, and if Donald Trump came over to me and offered me ninety-six thousand dollars, you know what I would say? Of course. I mean, come on. Think this about is it. just an average day. No, you said no. This is so not average for me. <laughs> okay. okay? The last thing I did, um, around four days before I moved to Tennessee, is um, my best friend Lisa, um, she took me with my Aunt Gracie, her mother and her daughter, and we went to New York City. And I never thought that I would feel like I was saying goodbye to New York. And the last place that I really passed was your Leza. Trump did. Tower? Trump Tower? I, I did. And that is the truth. And I can't believe he's here. I mean, right. come on. And I rubbed it because I never had money in my life. Right. And I'm not kidding. Wow. You know, the Trump, the, the whole She rubbed thing. your tower. I did. <laughs> okay. Two cases I did. I did. Two cases. All right, I know this sounds crazy, but even I just brought up my, my, my best friend, Lisa. <laughs> and I think maybe she'll be my lucky charm because she she couldn't be here. She she's a beautician and she had a bride to do. Okay. Two All right. cases. So I'm gonna two pick two cases, one episode. I'm gonna pick number. All right, I'm gonna pick number twelve for Lisa. Number twelve. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Open the case. <laughs> Joe Donald, he was wrong. Yeah, Donald. <laughs> Please. Please, please, oh, don't go wrong. I know. One more, you okay? Yeah, Howie, I'm good. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh my God. 
I'm gonna change my mode. Okay. Guess what, Howie? What? I never had anything, right? Who cares? You know what I got? I got uh, them. Everybody. Wonderful <laughs> son. And you have an offer. Son? I don't care. Okay, and we're about to get an offer. I'm offering her almost nothing. Sadly, $700. No deal. $700. No deal. One case to open. No. No. Deal or no deal? Pick a case. Pick a case. Three. Okay, Lisa, open your case. How you doing? I'm doing good, and I, I hope you're doing you. good. And even though you didn't listen to me, you are a terrific woman. Twenty-four hundred dollars. That will be your last offer. Thank you. That is going to be your last offer. Okay. Twenty-four hundred dollars. Donna DiBiase. Deal or no deal? One of the cases is worth twenty-five dollars. One is worth five thousand no. dollars. Deal no, or no again. deal? Forget it. No deal. <laughs> One has $25 in it, yeah. one has $5,000. One final question, do you want to switch cases? Do I want to switch cases? No. No, I'm not going to switch cases. So this is your case. And this case is worth... $25. Open your case. Donald, thank you for being here. We thought it was good night for Mr. Trump, but after he finished his banker duties, he surprised us again after the game. Howie, that was tough, huh? I'm gonna give you some stuff, okay? Do you mind? Come here. Come on out. So, Howie, what I'm gonna do... What are you gonna nothing do? Nothing to do with the show, because the show's not allowed to do it. Right. I'm gonna write the son, Dominic, a check for $25,000. Twenty-five. Gonna be, you're gonna save that money, right? Yeah. Put it in the bank, all right? Yeah. Okay, oh man. How you great is that? Yourself. Well, Donna's terrific, but she didn't listen to me. But the son is beautiful, Dominic. So I gave twenty-five thousand dollars to him. She should have listened, but she didn't. Donna had a heartbreaking game, but he, Donna was playing for her little boy, for her son. And backstage, he's writing a little boy a check for twenty-five thousand dollars. I thought that was a wonderful, heartfelt, great gesture on Mr. Trump's part. Let's go find out who the special guest is. Ah, it's my best friend, Donald Trump. <laughs> Come here, big guy. Yeah. So good to see you here for the second time, Deal or No Deal, our first episode back. Yeah, it was on your first episode of the yeah. first season, and it became a very big success, so we're happy about it. He got the contest almost $300,000. This is a huge decision. Don't you wish you had an expert to kind of help you make financial decisions? Oh my god. He was going out with actually much less than 50000 and we got him up to, what, close to 300000 The banker has just offered him $199,000 to sell that case and go home right now. Um, oh, my God. I'll tell you what. Let me know. You're so you successful. don't have to follow me. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want to be blamed. At this stage, I'd probably say, let's take the money. Yeah? And go home. No. <laughs> but if I'm your age... 
I say no deal. I say. Go Mr. For Trump it. says no Go deal. For it. Mr. Trump. Go for it. So the question is, deal or no deal? No deal. I say no deal. Before we go any further, I want to thank Mr. Trump for being part of tonight's proceedings. And I'm very excited about the show coming on right after this, the premiere of Apprentice 5 right here thank on you. NBC. Thank you. Thank you. Right now, you, you are talk. this close to being a very oh wealthy God. man. Talk, Mr. Trump. Just for, I want to talk. Oh, Mr. Trump. Mr. Trump. How badly do you need the money? You don't even know. Huh? I want to you know what I do? I'd take the money. Yeah. You want to take the money. The kid? Yeah. You want to have a family? You know what yes. I do? Take the money. Yeah, right. Take That's the crazy. money, That's sleep. Listen, take the money. I'm not Donald Trump. Come here. Honest, honey. <laughs> take the money. Come on, kid. Yeah. You want to have a family? You know what I do? Take the money. Yeah, right. Take That's the crazy. money, That's sleep. Right. Listen, take the money. I'm not Donald Trump. Come here. Honest, honey. And you could end up being a daddy. So let me ask you, you talk to Donald. See how good your advice was. I gave him good advice. Thank you, Mr. Trump. Thank you so much. That's why you're successful. Wow, how great is that? Peter Montesani walking out of here. Today I'm doing the opposite because I'm the banker. Today I want this contestant to fail, but you know, I think probably I don't really. If you were a contestant on Deal or No Deal, but who would you pick for your lucky cake? Well, I'd have to start with you, of course. Uh, that's what I wanted to hear. You and then and who would be your supporters, Ivanka and Donald Jr.? I think so, maybe so. Yeah. They're doing a good job on The Apprentice and Celebrity Apprentice is coming back. You have um, Apprentice seventh season, congratulations. And this time with a twist. Celebrities. We have a lot of celebrities all over Hollywood. They're calling. They want to be on it. We're uh, we're choosing them right now, and it's hard because so many people want to be on the show. Anyone in mind? Well, I'm not allowed to tell you. You're not... In my book, you're a celebrity. Thank you. Well, that's what matters to me. Well, we're really excited to have you here today. And this is Young Hollywood. We were at your birthday party, and that was so much fun. It was great, wasn't it? It was great. Young Hollywood loves you. Deal or no deal loves you, but nobody loves you more than me. Young Hollywood, you're fired. Voice.